that bluegill right there. All right, here it is. This is the pole. This is the pole that you need if you want to fish like this. It's a it's a Abu Garcia. It's five and a half foot. It's a light action. It's not an ultra light. It's actually a light action. And you saw how stiff it was um, catching this bluegill, which this thing's a monster bluegill. And I'm just at a little creek in town. Uh, as you can tell, I'm running fishing under this bridge. And I'm throwing a little uh, 1 ounce uh, jig head with a little panfish assassin. And I got a four pound mono. And um, this pole is very stiff, but also at the same time, for it being a light, it's very stiff. But also at the same time, it's very sensitive. I caught a, this truck goes by. I caught a pound and a half largemouth with it. Um, and it, it held, holds up very well. It doesn't bend down here like um, if, if you catch a bigger fish, a lot of ultra lights and lights will, will bend real down here. It's very stiff down here, and it's up here where it starts to bend, where I really like it. Um, I like all the eyes it has. Um, I like the handle on it, the way the uh, reel mounts. Uh, it's not cork. I kind of like cork, but this one here does fine. Uh, it's very comfortable to hold on to. It's very lightweight. And let's see here, you can see it doesn't just flop all over the place you can control it. I got it from Walmart, I think it was $36. Actually this uh, reel is an Abbey Garcia reel too, they're about 30 bucks. Like I said, four pound uh, mono. And this setup right here is perfect for just little creeks, um, getting in tight places. I like fishing a lot in the really small creeks where creeks are, you can almost jump across. This one here, it's a little bit deep here, but over there I can step across it. Um, so it's got these little deep holes. Going down that way, it's a lot of trees and overhang. I can get in here. And like I said, I can still set the hook on a decent fish, but also I can feel the sensitivity of a small fish. Um, let's see if I can catch any more fish out of here. big holding up in here this one is actually I'm not sure if this is a green sunfish or a bluegill maybe some kind of hybrid I think it's a green sunfish that's a big old green sunfish Fine, it's a blast to catch uh, catch fish like this on a, on light action, but also you kind of need sometimes you need this light action for sensitivity, and um, also it's just easier to carry around, like I said, and maneuver. But as you can see, there's cars going by everywhere, but uh, I'm still out here catching fish, and uh, this pole is perfect. It's only five and a half foot long. It's pretty firm. I'm just using four pound mono. And like I said, a little ultralight reel. And I'm just out here wearing out some fish. Just caught them all in like five minutes. So I'm gonna throw the uh, chest mount on. We'll see what else I can get with this pole. But um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, for what they got at Walmart, it's definitely my favorite uh, creek fishing rod that I've ever got so far. And uh, I'm really happy with it. So for $35, $40 uh, for the pole, $30 for the reel, you know, it's a $70 combo. That may be a little high to some people, but um, if you know the difference between an ultralight and a light, or maybe you fish a lot, then you're gonna notice that uh, the performance on this um, pole here is worth getting. Got it. No problem, whoa, that's bigger than I thought he was. No problem setting the hook on this little bass. So a um, little four pound line, the yum dinger, set the hook easy on a little bass. Holy cow, look at that snapping turtle. <laughs> what? Did I get a fish? Or I caught the snapping turtle? Oh, come on. I got his claw. Oh, you. How did. Uh, look at the claws on that thing. He's mad, too. That thing came out of nowhere. I just it was dangling my lure right there, and all of a sudden, this turtle came out. 
Well, a four pound line is stronger than you think it is. That's why I don't hesitate using it. Don't want to break my pole, but I want to get that off there. But looks like he's going to be keeping that. See, I look. We got a good uh, example of it bending. Look how it bends at the end instead of right here, which I really like. That way, if I set a hook on something, it's not bending right here. All right, turtle. Ugh. I thought I had a really big fish there for a second. All right, I'm gonna have to move to a new spot now. Oh yeah. That one didn't know I was here. He hit it as soon as I hit the water. Oh, uh, that's a pumpkin seed. Nice pumpkin seed. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. That dude fighting. People driving by are probably like, what's that guy doing fishing over here? <laughs> you never know there's a creek here unless you pay attention to creeks like I do. Yeah, see it? Somebody honking. Probably a fan. Yes. I love it when they hit right away. They're hungry. Springtime, fish are moving around, being aggressive. Nice red breast. Everything I've caught today is just healthy, chunky fish. It's a good red breast. All right, let's wacky rig it and toss it under there a couple more times. There's one. Yes. Set the hook fine on it. I felt him taking off with it. Just set the hook. Hey, that's an average little creek bass. You know, sometimes I get that one. The first one I caught, the first bass I caught was a nice one. But um, tell me what you think about this rod and reel setup. Do you like it? Do you like this? Uh, have you ever used it? The Vigilante 2.0? I don't know if it's a brand new one. I really haven't looked up much about it. All I know is the first time I saw it at Walmart and I uh, felt it. I was like, well, that's, that's one that I got to need. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good rest of the day. Goodness. No way. Are you serious? Oh, wacky rigged for a giant. What red breast? Where'd my, he threw my lure off that little fish. Where did that thing go? I needed that. Well, I don't know where it went, but dude, this thing's a monster. That is a monster red breast. Look at the mouth on that thing. How fat he is. Wow, that was cool. Hope I can find my lure. I wanted to catch a couple more times over here, but no. Oh, I see a little bass right there. Man, it's just so hard getting around. It makes it so much easier with a short pole. Ow! Get in there, get in there. Oh, there it is. Need you. Uh, all right, got it back. Let's see if I can get one more fish. I thought it was done. Of course, whenever I say I'm done, I'm usually never done. It's like when I'm shooting basketball. One more shot. Well, it usually ends up about being 10 minutes later. 
till I finish.